Welcome to Update News. Online. Two restaurants have recently opened their doors for businesses on Market Street in the city. One new and one quite familiar. Zyka Indian Grill launched with a ribbon cutting at its 209 North Market Street location. Well, I'm really excited because Indian cuisine is one of my favorites, so I don't have to go too far. I can just come here and eat. And Oh, so I'm, I'm excited about the diversity of the different um, uh, stores and businesses that are coming to downtown. And that's really what's going to make this downtown be the great place that it's, it already was, but everyone's just trying to realize it now. And so I really thank everyone, especially the business owners, for investing and believing in what's going on down and what we're doing here in downtown. I also want to thank the many different organizations that came together to make this happen. It was our dream to have uh, Zyka Indian Grill, and uh, we chose Wilmington. It just really liked the feel of the downtown area, and especially the Loma district. So um, I welcome everybody, and do, do stop by and come by. Thank you. The 60-seat restaurant features an array of traditional Indian fare, as well as build-your-own dishes. During the ceremony, Downtown Visions presented a check for $4,200 to the owners of Zyka Grill for improvements made to the building's facade. Another city restaurant has reopened after undergoing a major facelift. Mayor James Baker and new Deputy Chief Al Halsenbeck of the Wilmington Fire Department helped cut the ribbon at the redesigned McDonald's restaurant at 4111 North Market Street. Designed with a more upscale and contemporary decor, the location features a side-by-side -side drive through to ease the wait for customers on the go. The interior features glass recreations of prominent Wilmington landmarks and new seating, along with flat screen televisions and free internet access. Bunny Miller from the Police Athletic League and Deputy Chief Halsenbeck each received checks of $750 for the organizations on behalf of the McDonald's Corporation. This is Update News.